but in the time of life where everybody will see you. Without dismissing what's happening to you, I'd like to tell you that this happens. If you ask all the women here, that's the problem we have with <laughs> Again, I come back to you have to own yourself. Don't use the word, well, sorry, you use what word you like. Adultery, judgmental. You don't even want to talk about that one. That's an emotional something. You have to have for yourself a moral compass. You have to have a self, a self, a self, a, self, uh, a feeling of self worth. You have to know who you are. So that men do not worry you. Yes, it's a bother. I'm 76 years old. Men are still chasing me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, this is serious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Men are still chasing me. What do you want to say to that one? But it doesn't bother me because that's the way of the world. Because I know who I am and what I want for myself. I set the parameter for my relationship with them. I have a relationship with them, you know. I talk to them, they sit down with you, doesn't worry me. But there's a line there and they know it. I've been a widow for 24 years. Nobody will bother me. Oh yes, they've been, and you know widows are uh, uh, very vulnerable. They're like, you know, these people are like bee to honey. And you are a widow. They're not going to do anything for you, and you must know what your own journey is, what your path is, and hold yourself. It's, it's all about self worth, self respect. You are not here to be a, 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 a receiver for anybody's nonsense. Now, it happens to all women. You, you happen to be doing shoes. You're a cobbler. I'm an actor. And <coughs> you would have heard that actors and journalists, I'm a journalist as well, actors are hit on by men all the time. Yeah. It's for you to decide. I can tell you how to do that. It's for you to decide what you want. Don't get too overly worried about the fact that they're looking at you. Men will look at women, women will look at men. Nothing we can do about that. My son once said to me, he went to a shop, and women are always coming to him. Uh, and it was like this. Uh, they come to me and, and I said, I very good. Women will look at men, men will look at women. So, it's not that you, because you are the most beautiful person in the world, men are ruled by their groin. Mm. <laughs> their brain is at the tip of their thing. <laughs> it's not, an, it's not yeah. even an abuse, it's not an insult. Yeah. Because they are made differently from us. Oh, yeah. A man is outside. We are inside. Yes, sir. A man is outside, whether he likes it or not. If he sees a skirt walk by, he jumps up. His thing it goes boo boo. <laughs> he wakes up in the morning, he likes it or not, he's got to have an erection. Yes. That's how they are made. So when they see a pretty girl walk down, bang, get her, get her, get her. Get her. <laughs> Understanding me? Oh What's your name? The victory. Are you understanding? It's not about you. That's the. That's how you can put this uh, uh, sexual predation, predatory uh, uh, habit of men. You can put this in perspective. To so know uh, of men, men who run after women, women after you. To so know that look, they'll do that to anybody. Well, I'm sorry to sound harsh. They're like dogs in heat. It doesn't matter which beach they see, they'll mount that beach, right? 
So when you know that, that it's not about you, you don't get flattered by, by it. In fact, I, I went through a period when I used to be very, very angry and insulted, if you hit on me, until I understood that really, they don't even mean harm. It's in their nature. It's the nature of the, it's the, nature of the beast. They're programmed that way. They're high-wired to quicken at the sight of women. So when you know that, it's not about you, but you do need to protect yourself from all this nonsense. Now, how do you dress? I know it's sad for us to be blaming ourselves for how we dress. When a man has brains and should control himself, but when you know that they're like that, you dress in a way that you don't draw attention to yourself that much. For instance, we in Nigeria, we have massive ikebes, pretty shapely ikebes, and then we wear trousers, and everything is outlined, and we're waving it about that. And then you say somebody won't put and shout out. It's not possible. <laughs> I remember a long time in, in England, people did, said they didn't know that I had legs because nobody ever saw my legs. And that's in Europe where you bear everything. Nobody knew very, unless I'm working and I use my hair, I had hats on, I wore long dresses. I, do, I did use to wear trousers, but when I wore trousers, my blouse must be down. Yeah, the jacket, because I got lovely hips, you know. Uh, I got a KB, at least they tell me they're lovely. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I never waved them around. I had jackets that went there. I wore trousers, but I never did call that out yeah. So, but it never stopped anybody. Mm. But at least I knew that I wasn't asking for it. We're not asking for them to hold, to put and shout at us, I know. But we have to take responsibility for looking at ourselves because it's a matter of self-respect. And I think it's insulting to be walking down the road and then somebody is putting and it's not very good, is it? So do watch what you wear. As for the business, as I said, are you the only one running your business? Yes, I am. You don't have anybody with you? I have workers. Because maybe you need some partner. I do. My husband is my partner. Yeah. Well, let him take. For every problem, as I was saying in my paper, there's a solution. Look for the solution. One is to have a partner. When it comes to interaction with your customers, he deals with all right you see what i mean he does the negotiation he deals with it a young couple visited me that starting their business and, uh, and i said rather than be looking for work for your wife let her be your partner let her take over the business side of the negotiations and free yourself from doing the technical work let him do the marketing and remove yourself okay what about the, the females hitting on each other? If females are hitting... I used to work with lesbians. I didn't even know what lesbianism was. And what do you have about people hugging you? If you have put so much premium on the fact that you see somebody and... No, she, no. Have, yeah. she, she, she told me she's... No, she wants to hug because she wants to feel my breast. <laughs> no, hugging is different from feeling breast. She wants to hug tight. So she can feel your breast. Can you imagine? Just tell them you're, you don't have that kind of uh, uh, orientation. With respect, I have friends who are. I didn't even know then, but I found out later. Very, very close friends. And, and after I told them that, no, I don't do this, we still remain friends. 
But if you take it, tell them for her not to touch me. Live and let live, darling. Yeah? Live and let Don't judge anybody. Don't judge anybody's orientation. Joke about it. Oh. Please, Joe, I beg for more to you. You know, I, I, you know I, I'm not like that. I, I'm flattered that you think you, yeah? Turn it into a joke. I'm, I'm flattered that you think you want to, that you do that with me, but unfortunately, I'm batting for the other side, you see. Joke about it. Oh, you've passed the message. Yeah, and still pass the message. Yeah. Ah, you are? Ah, okay. If you are running from her, she'll be chasing you. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, predatory, uh, sexual predators, yeah. then they like that. They want to conquer. They want to make sure they succeed. But once you dismiss it by saying, ah, ah, how nice. But unfortunately, I'm not wired that way, you see. You know I'm married. <laughs> you see. <laughs> no, <what? laughs> okay, I feel for you. I understand, but take it easy. First of all, as I said, remember, don't run, run away because you are judging because you think ah, how terrible. She's a lesbian. No, I don't care whether anybody is lesbian, whether they're doing dogs or whatever. They mustn't carry it near me, shall we? <laughs> Because that's their business. Yeah. What they do in their bedroom doesn't concern me. Don't judge anybody. If you, if you don't judge anybody, you have confidence and peace of mind to deal with all these people. Don't judge men because they're chasing you. Know why they're chasing you. Again, problem, solution. Always a solution. Know that that's how they're made. And when they see a woman alone, and as you say, even with your husband, they will still chase you. Uh, you know that that's them. So you don't worry too much about that. But let your husband protect you. Okay? You are not, you talk about adultery. Women, you're always talking about uh, committing adultery. What do you think your men are doing when they're sleeping with other people? Yeah. And he said that polygamy was whatever. That's oh. adultery. Don't use that word about yourself. In other words, you are not going to sleep outside of your marriage because you respect your marriage. And you respect yourself. It's, it's because you don't it's because you respect yourself that you, you don't think anybody should be should have access to you. You know sex is the most intimate thing that can happen between two individuals. What kind of an idiot is that that will be jumping from behind, hanging onto everybody all over the place? What are you? So respect yourself. You are not sleeping around because not because you are married. Let's get that clear. But because you gotta have some respect for yourself for God's sake. And that means that valuing yourself and honoring yourself and respecting yourself. Not to think any man can can have you. Try not be try being hard to get and see how men still flock around you. Because they really want to conquer you. That's why they flock around you. When you see a woman, people are up, that woman isn't giving in. She's not giving out. And and the people that who are so determined that they must uh uh what's wrong with her that uh, after all lady so and so will be so and then the brood brought her down. What's going to be your own self? Mm -hmm. Then you'll be coming. Don't it's worry. That's when you know that you are doing what you have to do when people are running around huh? after you. Because you are not giving them any. And they don't know how to get it from you. Thank you. You're welcome. I wish you luck. Thank you.